So during the your sabbatical um, from performing, um, how would you keep in shape? Would you practice even at least for an hour a day or for pleasure na lang? Or? I think you hit it right. Uh -huh. I tried to play scales and exercises for about one hour a day. Okay. Maybe you could equate it to your plies and your bar <laughs> work. Ballet class. Yes. Ballet class <laughs> uh -huh. to keep the muscles in shape. Uh -huh. So that's all I, I did, just to keep the fingers running, mm -hmm. to keep my muscles in shape. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Um, did you teach um, during that time, aside from Spanish, of course, did you teach piano? I taught Spanish and I taught a couple of years music subjects at the Assumption okay. in San Lorenzo High mm -hmm. School, music appreciation, music history. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a few private students at home, mm -hmm. which included my two growing daughters. Yes, mm -hmm. speaking about that, um, we of course know that um, Ang, in, ang inyong mga anak na si Crispy at si Cathy Santa Maria were very popular models um, nung dalaga pa sila. Uh -huh. um, did any of your children or now your grandchildren display any interest in music? Okay, I have three daughters and one son. Mm -hmm. Yung tatlo kong anak na babae, obligado sila mag-aral ng piano at pinadala <laughs> pina okay. sila sa pinakamagaling na piano teacher sa Manila. Uh -huh. Pero yung pagdating nila ng fourth year high school, sinabi Sabi ko sa kanila, hindi naman kailangan na piliin ninyo ang piano at ang music para sa karir ninyo. Kung gusto ninyo ng iba, pwede kayo mm -hmm. makapili ng iba. Mm -hmm. So that's what they did. Mm -hmm. They chose other careers mm -hmm. because uh, I thought it would be best. Uh, they needed to have a big spirit of sacrifice and commitment to be in the arts. Mm -hmm. And if they didn't have that, I prefer that they would prefer choose something else for themselves. Yeah. My son, I obliged to study for two years. Uh -huh. So he did, and the day after the second year, sabi niya, Mom, it's two years now. Uh -huh. Tapos na ako sa piano. Uh -huh. So I said, okay. okay. <laughs> but now, they uh, make a very good audience for mm -hmm. my concerts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my children and grandchildren, they all come to my concerts. Okay. I, I'm interested, why did you oblige them to study music? Because I really wanted to see if it would, uh, if a seed in them would develop. Mm -hmm. And I guess like my mother wanted to see one of her siblings become a musician or a pianist, and mm -hmm. it happened to be me. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to see if one of my three daughters mm -hmm. would uh, have a career in the arts. Mm -hmm. uh, at nasabi niyo din na pinadala ninyo mga anak ninyo sa... Uh, ibang piano teacher mm -hmm. to take lessons. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you teach them yourself? Because I had other obligations and I felt that uh, I would uh, not be too committed to teaching them or mm -hmm. I felt that they would do better under somebody else mm -hmm. so that they would be obliged to go to the lessons regularly. Because mm -hmm. if I taught them at home, then there would be many excuses <laughs> not to have the lessons. It's parang napaka-pamilyar ng <laughs> Ang inyong sitwasyon noon. Uh, uh, any grandchildren um, following in your footsteps? I have mostly piano. boys uh -huh. as the grandchildren. So all of them are in sports. And some of the girls, uh, one is into ballet, a couple are into piano, mm -hmm. one likes singing, one mm -hmm. likes painting. So they are dabbling at it. Yeah. But it's wonderful that you expose your children and grandchildren to the arts at an early age. And That's I wonder if I should share a secret with you. Please do. I, uh, again, also sort of obliged my grandchildren to attend my concerts, mm -hmm. but we have a family secret which we call the AF, uh -huh. and that's attendance fee. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <laughs> so, meron so, silang reward. They have a reward. Uh -huh. Something that will uh, give them a Starbucks treat. Uh -huh. So, something like uh, 200 peso AF. Uh -huh. So, they can buy themselves a Starbucks fee. Naku, sana hindi nakikinig yung mga anak ko. Baka, baka ko. sumingin <laughs> din sila ng attendance fee sa so manood kay mami sa kanyang mga. Malubi ka dyan. Malubi <laughs> ka dyan, Lisa. Kasi mas marami yung uh, dance performances mo <laughs> kaysa piano. Oo nga, malulugi. <laughs> malulugi ka dyan. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. do, you, do you still find time for anything else, like any hobbies that the audience or the, the listeners don't know about? I have always been crazy about miniature pianos uh -huh. for maybe 30 years uh -huh. and I collected. So I have over 700 miniature pianos. Wow! So uh -huh. that's one of my loves. And the uh -huh. other thing I like very, very much is Christmas decoration, Christmas mm -hmm. decor, which I've uh, always had in my homes. Mm -hmm. And 
in the last few years, I've collected these little houses mm -hmm. that uh, we have made into a Christmas village. Wow. So that's what I have. That's fantastic. Naku, marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang respetadong concert pianist at music educator na si Ingrid Sala. Santa Maria, dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang...